Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss the next topic is the PD controller. PD represents P represents the proportional and D represents the derivative. So combination of both proportional as well as the derivative. So proportional you know that KP derivative you know that S into KD. Okay. So by adding this, what is the things here happen? So if you observe this, this is the controller gain. If you look at this gain, if you look at the type first, how it operates the type. Here type is there is no change because we doesn't have the denominator S terms. So here the type is generally is unaffected. Type is unaffected, no change. Then what about from this we will get type is related to the steady state error. There is no effect on the unaffected. Steady state error is unaffected. Okay. So here and next if you observe here stability but whenever you are adding the zero you are adding some zero to the system zero added then what happened the stability of the system will be improved stability of the system will be improved stability of the system is improves what is the reason here the zero will be added to this system okay so from this we can tell that Finally, we will give some conclusions about the PA controller as well as the PD controller. So for the PA controller, what happened? We will look at here. So when we are using the PA controller, steady state error decreases generally. PA controller decreases the steady state error. Okay, But there is no effect on the stability. Stability is unaffected there is no effect on the stability that means it will look at the this is nothing but the steady state stability steady state performance okay yeah and if you add the PD controller if you add the PD controller there is no effect on the steady state error steady state error is unaffected here Steady state error is unaffected here. Okay, there is no change, but it improves the stability. Why it is improve the stability? The zero will be added. Stability is improves. Okay, so PA controller have some advantages. Steady state error will be decreases, but it can't change the stability. And PD controller has the advantage. It will improve the stability, and steady state error cannot be affected. Okay, so this is about the PD controller. PD controller. Next, we will move on to the the next controller is the PID controller. What is the meaning of the PID? PID means it is the proportional, and I means integrator, integral controller, and D means derivative controller. So by combining the proportional integral derivative we will get the PID controller so now we will look into deeply how it affects the system so proportional is generally having the KB what is the this is KI by S what is this derivative S into K S into K so if you elaborate this what we will get here here the LCM is the yes and S into KP and this is the KI and we have the S square into KD finally what we will get we will arrange a proper manner by the S order that is the this is S square into KD and S into KP plus KI by S this is the complete structure of the PID controller this is the complete structure of the PID controller so just observe here first look at the type by adding the yes what about the type first look at the type here type is increases what is the problem steady state error will be decreases steady state error will be decreases with that 
stability also decreases stability also decreases but whatever stability we have just observe here s square is there and how many zeros are available in the numerator we have two zeros are available two zeros are available so one zero will stabilize one zero will be added one zero will be added and stability will become into the neutral and for this again the second zero will be added the first zero and this is the second zero the neutral will become stability improvement neutral will become stability improvement so finally by using this three controllers pid controllers the st steady state error will be decreases and the stability will be improved that's why this pid controller is very much useful very much useful in the controllers point of view so i will write finally the conclusion the conclusion is from the all the controllers the pid controller is decreases steady state error and improves stability of the system improves stability of the system this is about the pid controller okay so uh, from all the controllers the most important controller the most useful controller is the pid control why it will decrease the steady state error that means what is this meaning steady state performance is improved and the stability will be improves both will be improved okay so this is about the pid controller as well as pid controller with this session we are completed all the related to the controllers okay i think all of you understand this session thank you